Hey guys, Bambino here. It's been a long time. You know, I was reading the comments this morning and a lot of people were wondering if I was still alive. Well, yes, I am still alive. I'm here at, uh, I'm in X-Plane 11 virtual reality using Oculus Rift. I still have this the CV1. I haven't upgraded my uh, headset yet, but uh, I'm at uh, Calvetta Airport. Going to head over to uh, Las Vegas for a quick trip. And I figured I would just uh, drop in to say hello and to give you guys a status of what's been going on. I know it's been a long time since I posted a video. And, uh, you know, life is great. It's just that life is really busy for me. Um, you know, about a year ago, a little over a year ago, I started a new uh, job with a great company. And it's a startup that uh, is pretty demanding on time. But, uh, you know, things have been going fantastic. And it just has kind of limited my time to be able to do video production. Um, I certainly have still been flying, um, but, uh, you know, like I said, it's just limited my time for video production. Let me get uh, set here. So we're going to go, altitude's going to be about, uh, we're going to go to 7,800 feet. We'll do 800 feet per minute climb. If you guys can see, I'll show you where we're going here. Uh, the flight plan. So we're at, uh, yeah, we're at uh, Calvet, I believe it's pronounced. And then we're going to head over to, to uh, McCarran, Las Vegas. And then we'll head back to, uh, after that, I'm going to head back to uh, Yucca Valley, which is where this plane belongs. I'm in FS Economy, but uh, and I have still been uh, been using that. So like I said, it's just been a while. But I've been reading through the comments, and I wanted to make sure that people knew that I was still alive. Let me take off here and we can chat a little bit. Um, we're in the DA, Diamond DA62 twin engine. Nice looking plane. As I f fade off the runway. Get it up to about 70 knots, and then we'll pull her up. There we go. Gear up, pops up. Here's the airport. Get that autopilot on. Climb over these mountains. So yeah, so, if, hey, listen, thanks for the love in the chat, or I should say in the comments. I appreciate you guys still watching. And like I said, uh, um, it's just been a hectic time for me the last year, just with the new job and family and other stuff going on, trying to get my health in check, which has been, uh, been great so far. And uh, you know, I do aim to get back to uh, to streaming and to producing content on YouTube. It's just that it's, you know, again, it's just been really, really, really busy for me. But, uh, you know, I appreciate um, all the love in the comments. Now, there's been so much going on in the past year in the area of VR flight simulation. I mean, X-Plane 11 has, you know, hasn't really shown too many improvements um, in the area of VR flight. But there, as you guys have probably know, uh, there's been tremendous improvement in um, in headset quality with the Rift S coming out and Valve system coming out and um, um, uh, HTC coming out with new headsets. There's a lot of a lot more choice uh, to choose from. Uh, personally, I haven't made any just any moves to any new platforms. I'm still using the same platform I was using a year ago. PCs the same, headsets the same, everything's the same. I'm still getting great enjoyment out of it, and still, you know, um, you know, haven't had any performance issues. I did consider upgrading to a Rift S, uh, but watching a lot of the reviews from people, um, not sh I wasn't sure if it made sense to change over. I mean, it really, for me, it, the cost wouldn't be too bad. I could probably sell my my CB1 for a couple hundred bucks and buy the new one for 400. So it's not too bad. I was just concerned about the inside-out tracking, 
Um, I'll probably make the move to it at some point, um, maybe once the, uh, the firmware gets baked a little bit better. Uh, but for now, I'm going to stick with the CV1. But in any event, um, so yeah, so there's a lot more to choose from. Thankfully, VR, uh, when I first started flying in VR, there weren't a lot of people doing it. And uh, thankfully, now there's uh, quite a community of people that are uh, involved with VR flight simulation. Our, um, our Facebook group, uh, the VR um, aviation group, has grown to, uh, we're, we're approaching 2,000 um, members on that group, which is pretty amazing. Uh, considering what we started over about a year and a half ago, I guess it was, uh, and it's grown. It grows every day, and there's some great questions. I urge you, if you're interested in VR flight, go on Facebook and check out the VR Aviation uh, um, Group, uh, VR Age. Yeah, it's VR Aviation Group, and uh, join up. You have to answer a few questions just to make sure you're not a bot, and we'll let you in and some uh, um, some um, you know some great content there. Uh, uh, Bell Geode, um, Drew has been uh, great in helping administer that uh, um, that group, and uh, like I said, you know we've helped a lot of people get involved or, or answer a lot of questions about um, getting into VR flight simulation, which I think was the whole purpose of putting that group together, and I think that's really a, a, has been successful. So, in any event, um, hopefully in the coming months I may start to produce some more content uh, as, as I get some more time to do so uh, but again I just wanted to uh, give a quick hello here and say thanks to everyone for the continued support of the channel and subscribing and uh, for commenting and you know some of the content is still very relevant to help people get involved with VR and uh, for keeping the keeping the movement going so anyway with that I'm gonna sign off and say thanks and uh, to let you know that I'm still alive and still kicking. Thanks, guys, and have a great day.